Hi everyone, in this task you will be finding the factors of a number. The task description says, write a program that takes a number input from the user and re returns the factors for that number. The factors for any number is the number that can divide it perfectly, so there is no remainder. So pause the video, attempt the program, I'm sure you're going to do great, and you're going to see my solution in three seconds. So how was the program? I'm sure you did really well. So first off, we are going to grab a number input from the user, and I'm going to say input, enter a number, and let me capitalize this N, there we go. So if number is less than or equal to zero, we want to tell the user that please enter a positive number. Please enter a positive integer. In any other condition, we want to implement the magic. So I'm going to create a function and I'm going to call it factors. And I'm going to pass in num here. Now, let's print a statement here that is going to say the factors of num, which is any number that the user has entered, are or is. Now, let's calculate them. We are going to say 4x in range. Now, we are going to um, look in the range that the number is provided. So it is going to start from one and it is going to go all the way to the number itself plus one. So we do include the number as well. And we are going to say if number is perfectly divisible by, by whatever range it is that we are looking into, then we want to print the number. So I'm just going to print X. Otherwise, we do not want to do anything. And now we, we need to call this function. And I only want to call this function whenever this else statement becomes true. So if I go out of this block and go out of the else's block, no matter, uh, this function is going to run. The reason for that is even if the number is less than zero, this function is going to run because we called it in the global scope. But I want to call it in the block scope for this else statement. So, so far, we are within the scope of uh, this function. We need to get out of there. And then we need to call the function factors. And I'm going to pass in whatever number it is that the user is going to enter. So let's run the program. You're going to say python solution.py. Now let's pass in 10. So the factors of 10 are all the numbers that perfectly divide 10. So there is no remainder. So 1, 2, 5, and 10. You can pass in any number. You can say 1, 1, 1. You're going to see that 1, 3, 37, and 1, 1, 1, they are the factors. You can pass in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are all the factors for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's it for this task. See you in the next one.